but in native traditions, humans are considered the younger brothers and sisters of creation. As a result, humans must turn to the wisdom of plants and animals as their teachers. Listening to their stories opens up a world of abundance and healing. We were trying our best to stay connected, and that was through observing the natural world. Everything that was connected to the natural world seemed to thrive. So we understood that if, if we could exist in the same way, that we would survive and be prosperous as well. Stories teach us so much of the wisdom of nature, the wisdom of water, of the trees and the roots, the wisdom of leaves, the wisdom of photosynthesis, the fact that we're dependent upon each other. The trees give us the oxygen. We give them the carbon dioxide. If we don't learn to value that process, we will lose it. And to lose the trees and, and what they give to us, the oxygen, is to lose ourselves. When I create a piece of work that relates directly to the past and the process that they used thousands of years ago as a piece of artwork, it connects me to those people in the past and our culture and, and creating that continuation of, of that whole process of mindset, the way you use the raw materials to create a functional piece of work like a mask or a pot or a basket. It, it really gets in your soul, basically, to have a connection to your ancestors and to the past. With language, culture, traditions, foods, medicines, everything's interwoven with itself, with us. So when you lose one aspect of that, you lose everything else.